hey guys welcome back to the channel today because of the uh, recent events with the 2007 we're gonna go ahead and start that engine build series i've been promising you guys for a while now i was just lazy working on the 05 that 59 just kept going well now it no longer goes so we're gonna cover everything from when you first get the engine block all the way till it's broken on the dyno ready to go i'm not sure how many parts this is gonna be but I'll try to break it down in um, episodes that make sense for you guys. That way, if you only need help with one thing, you could just look at that one video and not have to sift through all the BS. So we have our engine block back from the machine shop. Now, there's a lot of different ways to go about this. Some guys look at their bill and see the engine machine shop clean the block and they move on. Some guys like me like to double check. So. What we're gonna be doing is prepping this block to be built. Now, as you guys can see, this one's a little crusty, not too, too bad. Um, looks like it'll be a solid platform. So what I will do is I'll wire wheel all of the junk off. Uh, I use like a cordless drill, get in there. Um, you guys can see I plugged the oil galley. I just don't like getting a bunch of gunk in there when I wire wheel it. So no real secret tips or tricks grab your favorite wire wheel a pair of safety glasses and get to town we got the shop all cleaned up um and then we're gonna go ahead and go over how to clean this thing once we get it wire wheeled So now that's done, we got our wire wheel. The big thing is just knock the crusties off, the stuff paint won't stick to. Uh, and I go through, this one has all the freeze plugs knocked out of the coolant passages, which is awesome, because I'll get to show you guys how to do that. Now we're gonna move on to installing, or sorry, cleaning the block. Now, what I do is what I do. There's a million different ways to do it. What I like to do, I use a foam cannon with Dawn dish soap. And then I have this set of Barroso engine cleaning brushes. They look like this. So, uh, now you don't use all of these, but you know, it came as a set. And then, I run a pressure washer with that foam cannon right there and I just fill up the foam cannon with hot water and Dawn dish soap. And then I start spraying the block down. Now, I'm gonna take this outside so visibility is gonna be a little limited, I apologize. I'm gonna cover it right now. Obviously you wanna clean the bores. You wanna make sure these oil feed holes here that feed the rockers are clear. The push rod holes, the cooling system, you just want to make sure you get all the junk out of it. It's not, I would say, dire. Then you have this oil galley and this oil galley. These are very important. And then on the front, we have the oil pump, the cam tunnel, and that oil galley right there. Those are very important. And then we'll flip it over. We got it flipped over. You want to make sure you get the J-Jets and then the cam feed and the main feed uh, oil holes, you want to make sure you get uh, hot soapy water in there, clean it out with a brush, and all of those push rod holes, cam tunnel. Um, you want to make sure the mains are clean, and then the J Jets, like I said before. The other thing you want to do is this pickup tube. 
You want to make sure that's clear debris. And let's see, what else? Oh, I missed the oil cooler. Then you want to make sure you clean all three passages of the oil cooler. Um, uh, sorry, four. One of these is returned to the pan. But make sure you get in there, clean all four of them out. Again, hot soapy water, pressure washer. And then from there, we'll bring it back inside and you need to blow it off as fast as you can to prevent surface rust. Us out here on the West Coast, we're blessed with really dry. You can leave stuff unprotected for quite a while before rust happens. Um, if you're on the East Coast, Midwest, high humidity, you need to get that oil on there as quick as possible. All I do is I use WD-40. I spray all the machine surfaces to prevent it. I try to avoid the block and anything I'm going to paint. That way the paint will stick better without all the brake clean. But we'll go ahead and get this rolled outside and get it cleaned. I'll put you guys on a time lapse. And again, guys, like I said, foam cannon bottle, some Dawn dish soap. Put a, enough in there to get a nice sud going. And then put your lid of the foam cannon on. Make sure you have a broken foam cannon because you have the best friends ever that just break your shit. I don't even tell you. <sighs> so let's go ahead and get it set up. So once you're done cleaning it, you're gonna go ahead. We, you guys saw us clean it with the bore brushes, with the foam cannon, then we sprayed it off um, with regular water. Then I blew it out. That spray I was using is just brake clean. It helps disperse the water. And then all I do is just some good old fashioned WD. The inside of the block really doesn't matter too much. So I will generally lube it pretty well mains push rod holes and then i don't do the oil pan um rail i'll do the oil pump and then i'll do the cam tunnel and get you guys one of these ones with the flexi straws and kind of get in there oh. from both sides make sure because there's one on this one one of them has a cam journal bearing and then Mark, let me flip this. Mm. Oh, wait, oh, yeah keep going, keep going. Mm. guys i just totally messed up my shoulder because the pin fell out on the engine stand um and then i will do quite a bit on the deck here because you definitely don't want that rusting and then I'll spray inside the cylinders. Want to make sure you protect that bore finish. That way your rings are going to seat nicely.
And then again on the front, I just kind of do like you guys can kind of see here. You could see where the uh, um, where it sits under the cover and it's nice and machined. So I'll just hit that. I do the same thing on the back, just kind of where the rear main sits. And then she is golden. Oh, oil cooler. Sorry for all that oil cooler. And then from there, now that it is clean, we're gonna go ahead and put a bag on it to protect all of our time we just spent cleaning it. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up today. Um, kinda just messed up my shoulder when the engine stand almost took a dive, so kinda not feeling it anymore. Um, but that's how we clean the engine block. There's no secrets there. I'm sure there's machines and stuff, and there's a million ways to do this. If the way that you do it has not had a failure, go for it. Um, I'm always down for new ideas. If you guys have a better way, better brushes or whatever, drop a comment. I'm always down to adapt to a different thing um the big thing just make sure you guys keep it in the bag once it's clean bag it every time um this shop here is a multi-use shop <laughs> Meyer and i both use it so i always once i clean something i bag it up really good i don't want dirt getting in there you can zip tie the edge of it but that in a nutshell is how you prep for an engine build um for all the little parts pistons rings uh um wrist pins connecting rods uh the bearings themselves the deck of the cylinder head all i do for that is just blurry clean compressed air and you're good to go this is really the only thing that i clean like this uh besides that we're gonna make sure all our hardware and stuff is clean uh, we got some stuff already prepped and painted like the front cover we have a powder coated front cover painted the main case uh and we have some other parts painted so that way it'll speed up this process a little bit but hopefully you guys like this video kind of boring but i feel like a lot of people don't understand how to clean these or they overcomplicate it um so hopefully it was simple enough for you guys to understand and recreate at your house uh give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment if you have any better tools to use i'm all ears and make sure you subscribe again i'm not sure how many parts this series is going to be but i find a document it from this point all the way till it fires up in the truck and we do that last hot retort as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.